Hi. 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 I'm Lisa. Hey, I'm Lisa, and I love the earth. Everyone, I'm Lisa, and I love the earth. I'm making this video for you today to show you what we did yesterday. So we went to uh, four area MPs offices with Fossil Free London and the local uh, London Council of Canadians chapter. And we delivered the IPCC report to our MPs. We asked them for appointments to follow up and let us know how they're going to answer our demands. We need to put the pressure on our politicians now. This is how this gets done from the grassroots up. Uh, 350.org put out a call to action and asked uh, people all over the country to do this so we thought we would participate. There's still time. You can still, in the description below, I've put uh, in London anyways, the area MPs, phone numbers, and office locations. So even if you just have a second to give them a call, please call them. Tell them you know that we delivered this report yesterday and ask them if they've made a meeting with us yet to discuss it and what they're going to do to address this crisis. So we know that warming has to be kept below 1.5 degrees and we know that on our current track it's not going to happen. So Join us. There's lots of people doing lots of stuff. I hope that this video helps you find us and that we can all find each other. And here's our video montage. We look forward to seeing you again on the next video. Uh, hit the like button and so make sure you can see everything that we do going forward. And again, the description's below. So this is the most important. It's an existential crisis. We need to get this done. We need our politicians and the people in power to take action. Here we are delivering it to Kate Young's office. And we're here at Peter Fragastato's office to deliver the IPCC report and to demand answers to find out what they plan on doing to uh, address this climate crisis. So here we are. And there's a bunch of us. And I'll let you know what he has to say. It's great when you get there, but sometimes they don't like the tough questions. We just can't just say, boom, we're there now, because there are all so many other issues that we we'd love to, to see some. We'd love to see some big steps that were was a pretty clearly big step. signaling that. Big well, yesterday steps. was a pretty big step. It's a step, but a climate big step. change is happening a lot faster than anyone thought. Fair enough, but yesterday was a massive scary. step forward in, in the way that Canada, particularly Ontario, is going to be viewing pollution as a whole. I'll keep a list. I'm waiting to see the next step and the next and the next Fair enough. as we go towards renewable. Fair enough. So now we're at Irene Matheson's <laughs> office, the MP for London Fanshawe, and we're here just waiting for some more people to join us as we deliver the IPCC report to Irene's office and make an appointment to talk with her to see what she's doing to adhere to our demands. So we look forward to the next video that we'll make at Karen Vecchio's office, and we'll see you then. Oops, uh, Irene's office is closed on Wednesdays, only open for appointments. So we left the IPCC report and the letter in her mailbox. I'll call her tomorrow to make an appointment. So now we're on our way to Karen Vecchio. Hi everyone, now we're outside of Karen Vecchio's office here in beautiful St. Thomas. This place wins the best um, office. So we're just about to go in and deliver the report to Karen. So we will just, uh, we've got everybody waiting here in the entryway and it's quarter after as per our time, so up we go. Mission accomplished for the day. 